To start, you're gonna need a ratchet. I'm using my Milwaukee Power Ratchet, like always. You're gonna need an eight millimeter hex. This is a five sixteenths. And then we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this bottom drain plug right here. Now you see we got these E10 external Torx bits all the way around. I'm gonna start by loosening all of these up. I'm not gonna take any of them all the way out just yet. I'm gonna take all the ones on this side towards the rear all the way out right now. Okay, now it's starting to drip. Watch your eyes, please. So, while this is dripping, let's just talk, guys. I'm not gonna be draining the torque converter. If you wanna go trying to drain your whole transmission in one go, have at it. I don't recommend that. I think that's overkill. If you change your transmission fluid on a regular basis, just drop the pan and refill it. Make sure that you keep your mouth closed while you're doing this also. You don't want none of this transmission fluid going into your mouth. And I'm expecting about six to seven quarts to come out when it's all said and done. Right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a screwdriver and I'm just gonna kinda st stick her up in here a little bit. See if I can't speed this up some. And I'm not gonna gouge anything, so don't don't freak out. Yeah, see, just give it a little help. I'm also not worried about damaging this pan at all because it's getting replaced because on a Mercedes Sprinter with a 2.0, the transmission pan has an integrated filter. All right, let's move down the line a little bit. Now over right here on this corner, there's a little Torx bit. Looks like it's a T30.
And then once that's out of the way, you can get to your last external Torx bed over here. And now I've removed almost all of them and I've loosened the back three. Okay, a little bit of a spill right there. That could have been a lot worse. Lesson, use a bigger drain pan. Now I'm pushing this thing back up in there to try and keep me from getting spilled on. I'm just unscrewing this thing by hand, these last few screws. Now I'm gonna tilt it right here and just let the rest of it go into my drain pan. Flawless. Take this and slide her out of here. On our van, what we need to use is DTF 971, MB236.71. I'm gonna use this little bug sprayer right here to put the fluid back in the transmission because you can't fill it from the top. Perfect. Now we got these two little standoffs right here. We wanna remove these. Boom, there you go. Now we'll come over here, put it on this one. Pops right in. Come back over here. that off. Now 
Now before we get under there, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we're gonna do. Start by taking that off. You can see right there, that's where you're gonna be filling her up. You could get a tube that fits there perfectly, or you can do like what I'm doing and use a, a bug sprayer. And I'm gonna take this tube, I'm gonna wrap plastic around it. And I'm gonna take it. And I'm gonna shove it up in there. And some is gonna leak out, but that's all right. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna be like holding this in there. And I'm gonna take a screwdriver and I'm gonna stuff it in there. And then I'll take my tube right here. And once it's all screwed in there, I'll plug it in, screw it on, and then I'll pump it using my bug sprayer. I went ahead and I threaded in all my e-torx bolts and I threaded in my little Torx bit bolt on the corner. I'll go ahead and include the in the description the Torx spec for all these, but I'm not gonna be torquing these to spec. I'm gonna be tightening them uh, to tight enough, and I'm gonna be doing it in a sequence. From the inside out. So I'm starting in the middle. I already did this corner right here, this far corner, because this metal plate right here is gonna be in the way. So you need to do this bolt before you do this metal, metal plate. Now the dealership's gonna try and sell you on a gasket and new bolts. You don't need new bolts. Unless you're just destroying your e-torch bolts, you don't need new bolts. And you don't need a gasket because it comes with your pan. They're just counting on you not wanting to take the hassle of returning it. So I've got my pump right here and my cord going right here my hose and I've already pumped this up and I'm gonna keep pumping it I had a zip tie I don't know where it's at I would have tied a zip tie around this but now you're gonna see there might be a little bit of stuff that comes out past the plastic that's okay you could put a little pan down here if you need to and now we're pumping and I'm just gonna work the pump about five quarts came out so I'm gonna put about five quarts back in it's going to be kind of slow from here on out. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. All the tools I use, you can check the description below for links. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Keep an eye up the hill, guys.